Hi, I'm going to introduce myself. I am Janet Saragosa Salvatore Gonzalez. Today I want to show you how to mix gesso. Gesso is your primer that you have to primer all your canvases with so that you can do some paintings. Ultimately I would love to show you guys how to do one of these paintings that I learned how to do on YouTube. Mine aren't as grim as the ones that I've seen, but these are some of the paintings right here. This is a painting of my kids. That's Teddy the dog, George, Courtney, and Devin. Devin's my grandson. I really love the way that these paintings turn out. This is only my second attempt at using glazes. I didn't even know what glaze was until I watched a YouTube video. I'm going to step up here and show you this one. This is another painting that I did. I don't know which painting this one was, but this is also glazes. Interesting about this one here is if you see the picture and the pupil of this girl's eye, when I was painting this one, my brother was actually doing a full-size painting of this reflection that's in the eye of the girl I was painting at the same time. He was doing his painting. It was crazy. And his color palette was all the same colors that are in my painting. So it's like a ooty ooty thing. So you can see how big these paintings are. They're pretty decent size. Um, this whole gesso illustration started because I'm doing that painting for my son's house. It's going to have cattails and stuff on it. That's just kind of the background. All right, so we got all these canvases going here that need some primer before I can paint anything besides the one that's still wet. So hopefully, let me set this down. We'll get this gesso thing going. Just so you know. This is what happens, I chop off my head. Here we go. It should do it. Okay, dope. So anyway, here we go with the gesso. Gesso is super thick. Oh, wait a minute. This canvas is still wet because I just did it a little bit ago. But we got to do another one because I got several of these I got to get done today. So sometimes I guess while it's just damp, you can give it a little wiping if you want. you see a little something something that you don't like but you don't want to wait until it's too dry to do that because then it kind of makes things kind of messed up so I'm going to trade canvases because it's looking like this one here is pretty dry it needs another coat and we'll set this one over here so it can start drying So let's mix up some more gesso. Gesso is this stuff. It's a base paint. I'm sure you could do like sculpting painting with it. It's really thick. It's really heavy. It's a heavy jug. It's expensive. You want to use a coupon. I buy it at Michael's. Okay, so if you can see that, it's not just plopping out of the jar. It's always a battle. There we go. We got a drop to come out. Two drops to come out. Put your cap back on your gesso. Don't ever leave this sitting open. You don't want this drying up, getting clumps in it, messing up on you. So gesso it is for the primer. In my spray bottle I have distilled water because I don't like my paints getting moldy. So I'll just pour a little bit of that prior water in there. Well here we'll leave it open because I don't think I really poured enough. Let's give that a stir. So what you want this to do is to be kind of the consistency of sour cream. And you don't want to go crazy stirring it either because you'll get all these air bubbles in it. 
you don't want it being frothy because then you gotta wait for all those air bubbles to pop on your canvas. Just messes up your picture. Oh my gosh, I got sticky stuff on that jar because I didn't get the whole label off. There we go. Let me close this thing. I want to always close my stuff so I don't end up accidentally spilling it. So here we go. Let's put a little of this paint on here. And I'll show you how thick it is. Alright, so you see that paint? It's just kind of thick still. It ain't just spreading out or running anywhere. You gotta move it. Just use all that paint you got all the way up that stick. And I kind of just go every direction. I want to get my edges because I paint all the way around the edges of my paintings so I don't have to frame them. If it seems like it's a little tough getting this paint to slide around, just take your little spray bottle and make sure you got a nice one. It lays a nice mist out there. I'm sure I bought that at the dollar store, but I got lucky because it lays out a really fine mist. I'm not spraying it like with a garden hose. Just a very light mist. Not quite as fine as the diffuser, but it's great. It's a great little spray bottle. So anyway, here we go. Looking good, looking good. It's going on nice. Got all that nice sunshine coming in so that I could see all these little squares on here, if they're getting filled in or not. Sometimes at night when you're painting, it's a little more difficult to see spots if you miss them. It's so important to get this canvas primer nice because all them little squares throws you off when you're trying to make a straight line. Can't stand it. First, My first couple tries, probably even on that painting that I showed you, my lines are a little heavy because I was having a tough time making a nice straight line so the lines end up getting bigger and bigger because I didn't really primer the canvas good enough. So this seems like it's going on pretty good. Almost done here. Doesn't take long. So. While you're waiting for one canvas to dry, you just kind of grab another canvas. But if you're going to be primer in canvases, you might as well primer three or four of them. My best deals that I get on canvases are also at Michael's. Me and my brother kind of keep each other in touch with that. Because he paints too. But you can get those canvases with like five canvases for, you end up paying like $3 a canvas sometimes. Which I could say if you were doing paint parties and you could get canvases for $3 a canvas, you're making a killing on those paint parties. I know it's your time, but you don't really use a lot of different colors. This is my color wheel right here. Most everything comes out of that. I don't really vary. There's not a lot of crazy colors in there. I just kind of mix them and blend them. So really what we're going to learn how to do is glaze, painting with glaze, which is its own new technique that I never knew about, which I'm sure has been around for hundreds of years, but I just learned about it last year. And I'm loving it. Loving the whole technique, loving the way the paintings come out. Just loving being able to share. There we go. Got a hair right there. It drives me nuts. That hair ain't coming out. So there you go. Primer canvas number. I don't know how many coats I got on each of these. I probably should have been striking it off or something. But we got some canvases going. Got some paintings going. 
Here's a painting over here. These guys are just going to be some rough looking guys. Maybe I could show you that a little bit. But thanks. Thanks for checking out how to mix up some gesso and get some canvases going.